Welcome to the Mediterranean. Let's dive right in. Now when people get in touch with us at Medical Doorway, they often want to study at a British university on a British medical degree, get that MBBS that they've been aiming for for many years. And we're here today at a British university, but you'll notice there are some differences. The sun is up, the sky is blue. We're here at Queen Mary University of London's campus in Malta, where you can study a five-year British MBBS right in the heart of the Mediterranean. Let's head into the university and take a look at what they have to offer. Let's do it. So Queen Mary University of London is obviously an innovative, you know, very high ranked British university and you can expect the exact same facilities that you would get in any British medical school. We're in the simulation centre here and behind me you've got obviously one of the mannequins and you've got things like the cameras, you've got the microphone so they can record you both in video and audio so you can reflect back on the practice that you've implemented and see if you can make anything better or whether your practice is getting you ready for working in the hospitals here in Gozo and Malta, which actually is just over the road from the university. So one of the great things about studying here at the Malta campus is you get all the benefits of obviously being in a British university, a big British university, including access to a wide variety of learning resources. We're in the library at the moment. We're doing some recording in here because next door people are studying, but you've got these huge IT suites and you can access everything here that you could access at the main Queen Mary University of London's libraries in the UK here electronically in their campus in Malta. Again, you get everything that a British university offers you with all the benefits of being in a fantastic Mediterranean setting. You can't ask for much more uh, if you choose to be a student here. So you might ask yourself a question, you know, are the facilities as good here as they perhaps are at Queen Mary University of London's campus in the UK? From seeing the campus here, I would say they're even better because it's a purpose-built medical school. We're in the anatomy centre here where you will have the chance to do full human body cadaveric dissection, which I personally believe is the best way to learn your human anatomy as well as your surgical skills before you go into the hospitals. So yes, if you choose to study here, you're going to get everything that you would get at a major campus in the UK, plus a lot more. Now you might notice this area here is set up like a hospital, like an A&E department in a major British university. And that is so you can actually practice your communication skills, your clinical skills, and actually have your OSCE exams getting you ready for when you go into the clinical environment before you then graduate. So again, it's a purpose-built medical school. It's set up to ensure you've got the best facilities to get the most out of your time here as a medical student. Now as you walk around the different floors in this campus, you'll notice this amazing artwork on the walls to fill up these gaps. Now this is not artwork that's been bought into the university. This is artwork that's been done by medical students. Yes, you have ownership of this campus and your artwork, if that's something you want to do to express yourself outside of the classroom, is shown here on the walls of the university. In fact, last year, there was even an exhibition of the students' artwork from Queen Mary University of London at the Citadel, just down the road here in Victoria. You know, you're given every opportunity here to express yourself, not just as a medical student, but as a person. And you really can't ask for much more in terms of how you're cared for and the level of uh, welfare support that you're given here at Queen Mary University of London's campus in Malta. Now we're in the dedicated student academic and pastoral support centre. Now this is separate from kind of your lessons that you'll have as a medical student. They are here to help support you uh, to make sure that your mental well-being is taken care of, but also provide things like study skills uh, sessions to make sure that you are learning efficiently so you can progress through the course with as few issues as possible. This is really important on a programme which is as intensive as medicine and on a over a five-year period to make sure that you are progressing through your programme both, you know, 
academically well, but also mentally well, so you have a positive experience whilst you're a student here. This is the type of investment which your tuition fees uh, pay for at this fantastic campus here in the Maltese Islands. Now the student experience and your welfare are really key to the offer here at Queen Mary University of London's campus in Malta. We're in the student common room, you've got these bean bags, you've got sofas, you can sit down with your classmates in between lectures, discuss different things, perhaps related to the course or maybe not related to the course. Have a game of pool, make some food, have a cup of coffee. It gives you this kind of breakaway, a little breakout area that's kind of owned by the students for you just to take some time away from classes before you head back into perhaps anatomy, dissections, or down to the library to do some self-directed study. You don't have to leave the campus and go home to have time away from the classroom. Another great feature of this wonderful campus here in Gozo in the Maltese Islands. Now the student cafeteria where you might want to buy your lunch from in between lessons before you go into your afternoon sessions, you've got this amazing veranda overlooking the whole of Gozo. We can see the sea from one side to the other. You've got the citadel behind us. This is something which you're not going to get at any other British medical school. You're certainly not going to get this in Birmingham or any major kind of British city. So think about that when you're planning for your next five years of your life at medical school. Think about the environment you're going to be in, the experiences you want to have, because perhaps you can get a lot more here at Queen Mary University of London's campus in Gozo. Now it has been really fantastic to visit this purpose-built British Medical School here in Malta. And you've seen the facilities, but they're quiet today because the students, or most of the students, aren't yet here. But tomorrow the students arrive and we're going to be back in the campus for the Freshers' Fair and meet some of our newest students and hopefully some of our existing students who are studying here at Queen Mary University of London's campus in Malta. Time to head out and come back tomorrow. So it was fantastic to see the different facilities at the university, but really this is all about the students. And today we've got the student uh, freshers fair going on. So we're going to head into the faculty building, see what's going on, and hopefully meet some of our new and existing students. Let's do it. So at the freshers fair, there's lots of organizations from Malta and from Gozo who are offering different things to the students, whether it be sightseeing tours or uh, learning some basic Maltese language. Really, the university is working hard to make sure students who come from all around the world to this campus feel part of the community and that is the essence of Malta and Gozo that kind of very hospitable environment that you're going to find here on these amazing islands okay everyone we're here at the Freshers Fair at the Queen Mary University of London campus in Malta and we've just found Prisha who's one of our medical doorway students who enrolled this year who's come all the way from Hong Kong Prisha first impressions of Malta and Gozo really great really sunny people are really nice Love yeah. you. and what do you think medicine British medical degree here or British medical degree somewhere in rainy cold Britain what would you yeah, prefer? Definitely over here. I came here because I can't survive in the UK weather. It's really harsh, don't like it. So I think here is perfect for me. Yeah. Wonderful. There are so many students here in the years. In fact, we've got many years of graduates, but for now we're going to go and explore more of the Freshers' Fair and find more students who have applied to study medicine, a British medical degree here at Queen Mary University of London's campus in Malta. Let's do it. So we're carrying on around the Freshers' Fair now. We're in an area where the students have their society. So we bumped into Olga, one of our students from the previous year. She's now in the fourth year from Poland here in Malta two years ago. Yes. Tell us a little bit about how it's been over the last four years it's here. Been it's been great. It's a great place to study. It's a great community. We're a very small university, so you get to know everyone. You quickly become friends. You make friends. And there are so many opportunities for you. Or if this goes to any Malta. So I definitely recommend it for everyone who wants to study medicine. Yeah. It's a great Something all the students feedback is that the level of satisfaction here is well above what many universities can boast in the UK. So if you're a student, you want a British medical degree, you really can't get much better than studying here in the fantastic Maltese islands in the heart of the Mediterranean. And I think Olga and many other students can definitely vouch for that. Now, although Gozo is a small island, it is packed with history, both natural history and history dating back, back to the Odyssey and Homer. So it's time to go and take a look at the island, show you what's in store here in Gozo if you're a student here for the next five years, and what better way to do it than on a Segway. So let's head over, jump on, and go and explore Gozo. Let's do it. So let's get started on this medical doorway Segway tour of Gozo. 
If you're a student here, you've got to try this. It's a great way to see the island, find out more about the place you're spending your time studying in. Just an altogether great experience. Let's crack on. So we're continuing our Segway tour. We're on the south side of Gozo, overlooking the uh, channel. You can see Camino. Camino is a small, beautiful island, not inhabited, but some amazing scenery that I'm going to show you tomorrow. And on the far side, you can see the main island of Malta. This really is a spectacular way to get to know these fantastic islands where you'll be spending the next five years of your life studying medicine. You've got to try this. So we've just come 10 minutes up from the university campus in Victoria to Ramla Bay and it has got to be one of the most amazing beaches here not just to perhaps in Gozo or Malta but in the whole of the Mediterranean in fact it's so clean the water is crystal clear sea turtles nest on the beach it's what a fantastic way to relax or spend some time out of the classroom perhaps compared to those rainy cold nights that you get in the UK I really can't think of a place that's so packed with natural beauty as well as history than here in Gozo and Malta and you can explore that in your time studying medicine here at Queen Mary University of London's Malta campus. Now you can't explore Gozo without going to some of the amazing cliffs they've got they truly are breathtaking so our medical uh, doorway Segway tour has taken a bit of a detour down a uh, very bumpy path. I don't think it's really cut out for Segways, but at least we'll get the chance to come and see some amazing cliffs. We can do it, come on. So we're now speeding through the little villages and towns in Gozo. We've been to see the cliffs, we've been to see the coastline. What a fantastic way to see more of this amazing island. I hope you enjoyed our Segway tour of the south of Gozo Island. It was great to see the Malta main island in the distance as well as Camino. And I did say we were going to take a boat to show you Camino, which is one of the most pristine areas of the whole Mediterranean. So we're going to hop on a boat here in the main harbour and take a tour around Camino. Definitely something you should be doing if you're a student here at Queen Mary University of London's campus in Malta. Now we're doing this amazing boat journey around Camino. We're gonna to go to the Crystal Lagoon and we're gonna take you to the Blue Lagoon as well, the world famous Blue Lagoon. Now, if you're an international student determined to get a British medical degree, think of all the tropical places you could study in the UK. Bolton, Birmingham, East Anglia. Personally, I'd rather be here in Malta studying at Queen Mary University of London's campus. So it was amazing swimming at Ramla Bay, wasn't it? On the beach on the north of Gozo. But we're on our little boat tour of Camino, there are so many swimming spots. I'm about to head right through this cave. Something you definitely have to do if you're a student here whilst you're studying medicine at Queen Mary University of London. Let's do it. So our boat trip around Camino has eventually brought us to the world famous Blue Lagoon. I've just been for a swim and it is absolutely spectacular. So if you are an aspiring medical student, you want a British medical degree, yes, you don't have to study in the UK. Why not spend the next five years of your life here in the fantastic Maltese Islands studying at Queen Mary, University of London over in Gozo. Now it's time to say goodbye to Queen Mary University of London's campus here in Malta. We're taking the ferry now from Gozo over to Malta to head to the airport. And the airport is very well serviced. You've got direct flights from say across the UK, across Europe, Dubai, and even now direct flights from the United States. If you're an international student and you need a visa to travel to Europe, then why not choose to study here? Because Malta is a member of the Schengen area. That means during your five years of studies, you can see the whole of Europe in your vacation periods. Not something you would get the chance to do if you were studying medicine in the UK. But for the moment, let's just enjoy the scenery, say goodbye to Malta, and we'll see you again in the next Medical Doorway video.